What is up guys, I am back with part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this town hall. And in this video, I plan on finishing the exterior of the building. Okay, so for right now, you just want to go ahead and grab some pillar quartz blocks, quartz slabs, quartz stairs, blocks of quartz, iron trap doors, sea lanterns, white stained glass panes, stone bricks, and stone slabs. Okay, so we're going to start by bringing up these pillars that we ended up doing in part one. So we just want to add an extra 17 on top of these that we have here. So it's 18 in total and it should line up with that quartz block right there. So another 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, it's actually going to be one block higher. My bad. Yeah, it should be one block higher because we have... This block isn't going to be covered up by stairs, but this block is. My bad. So it should be one block higher. So you just want to make sure to bring up all of the other pillars to the same height as well. Alright, I'm doing the last one right now. So remember, just one block higher than these walls that we brought up. Okay, so there we go. That is how tall this section here is going to be. Then we're going to cover this up with a roof. And then we're going to have the bell. Which uh, we don't have the blocks for right now, so we're not going to be worrying about it. So let's go ahead and start adding all of the different layers here on these pillars. Okay, so you can switch to your quartz slabs. And we want to go at the top edge of the sixth block from the bottom. So we'll start right here. So one, two, three four five six all right so now we want to go at the top edge so this would be like the bottom edge we want to be at the top all right so that is the sixth block from the bottom then we just want to go in between all of the pillars so we're going to go right here like that so we're like behind this pillar is that we're going to place another slab here then another one right here and then another one in between those two pillars one right here, one right here, right here, and then in between these pillars. Okay, so I'll go up above, and I'm like looking at it from the front. This is what all of the slabs look like. Okay, so they're kind of just like all in between the pillars. So this one isn't out here, but it's like in behind that pillar. As you can see, it doesn't go actually out to the same edge as the pillars except for this one and these ones here okay now we just want to go up half a block and do it one more time with the slabs so it's just half a block of space in between them okay so that's all looking good make sure it is like that now, you can switch to your quartz stairs. I'll start here in the front. We're going to have one upside down in between the pillars. We're going to have another one here. And another one here. Okay. Then, we could go on this side. It's going to be in a different direction. So, it's going to be like that. Then, another one here. And then, another one here. So, there's three in this direction here on the left. Then there's three facing the front. And then we want three more over here at the right side. Okay. Next, you can switch to your full blocks of quartz. We're going to go from the inside on the same layer as these quartz stairs that we just placed. And we just want to place a layer of full blocks of quartz. And you could just push this back until we're on the same edge as these pillar quartz blocks here. So just right here should be fine. Okay. 
So that is what we have so far. It should be looking like this. Okay, next, make sure you still have your full blocks of quartz. And we just want to add a layer on top of this layer of quartz that we have. So wherever you see quartz, you want to add a layer of the full blocks. Okay, so you can see that I actually went on the edge, all the way on the outer edge, instead of staying within the blocks. So as you can see, there's full blocks of quartz out here. So now, that is actually going to be covered up with some quartz stairs. So I'll start over here at the back, and you just want to wrap around the stairs upside down like this, make sure they all connect with each other. And you can wrap this all around until you reach the other side. Alright, there we go. So it's just going to be overhanging like that. You can then switch back to your quartz slabs. I'll start here in the middle at the front. We're going to have it half a block higher. So all the quartz slabs are just going to be at the top edge of all of the pillars once again. Okay, so I'll do it on this side. So we have this one here. And then we want to go here on the side of the pillar. Then we're going to go behind is this pillar. We're going to go behind is this pillar. And then in between is these two pillars. All right, so now we have like, uh, this is kind of like a balcony, but you're not going to be able to access it from the inside. But yeah, that is basically what this is going to be. It's more of like a decoration. These are actually very common, at least where I live. I don't know. Like colonial houses sometimes have balconies and you can't actually access the balcony. It's more of a decoration. Okay, so now you can switch to your sea lanterns. And I'm going to go in the middle here, dig out two blocks. So I left like three blocks of quartz here and three blocks of quartz here. Doesn't necessarily need to be right in the center, but it would be nice that it is. So I'm going to add two sea lanterns like that. We're going to cover up the top one with an iron trap door and the bottom one with an iron trap door. So that just adds a little bit of light here where this balcony type shape is. <laughs> All right, so it is looking like this so far. Okay, now let's head on up to this upper layer. So you can switch to your quartz slabs. Start right here right above these slabs, and you want to make sure you count up five blocks. So we have one, whoops, so one, two, three, four, five. On the top edge of this fifth layer, you can start adding some more quartz slabs in the same places that you added all of the other ones. All right, there we go. Then what you want to do is go up another half a block and just add another layer of quartz slabs in the same exact spots once again. Okay, then we'll go from the outside. You can switch to your quartz stairs and place these upside down above all of those slabs. So here at the front, they're going to be facing this direction. Then on the sides, they're going to be turned so that they still look like they're facing in the same direction. Okay, I'm then going to switch to my full blocks of quartz, go from the inside and add a layer. Okay, how is that? Is that okay? Bring it out one more. All right, so there we go. Now we're actually going to be doing the overhang for the main roof for the rest of the building. So this is going to be throughout all the way around the edge of the building. So I'm going to go up another block and add an extra layer of full blocks of quartz. It just makes it a lot easier for us to actually place these stairs don't necessarily need to do this because it is going to be covered up, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
Okay, another thing we don't really need to do is adding an extra layer on top of these full blocks of quartz that we already have. So I'm just going to do that. So once again, it just makes it a lot easier for us to add the upside down stairs wrapped all the way around the edge. Okay, so let me just go all the way around with this. Okay, there we go. Just went all the way around. So you can then switch to your quartz stairs. I'll start over here on this side. We'll wrap it around the uh, pillar section first. This little shape that we ended up making. So it's going to be the same as that layer that we ended up doing down below. The only difference is it's actually going to be wrapped all the way around the building instead of just around the pillars. So as soon as you reach this side... You can then curve it, should be one block higher than this layer of uh, quartz. So this layer of quartz is actually going to be shown. And then it should connect smoothly with these stairs that we have here. So there should be a regular stair and then an upside down stair. And then, as soon as you reach this corner, you can switch to your quartz slab. And make sure the corner is a quartz slab. As I continue wrapping this all the way around. Once again, you can stop it on the edge. Make sure the corner is a slab. Then continue this. And then we have to do is that corner slab two more times on this side. Okay. So right here. Continue it along. And then one more time here at the front. And then this should connect back to where we actually started the stairs. Right there. Okay. So... Just added the overhang for the main roof like that. Okay, so now before we forget, let's go ahead and add our sea lantern here in the ceiling for this upper layer. And we'll cover it up with an iron trap door. Alright, it should be lined up with this one. Okay. So now, we could actually start doing like the main roof. Keep in mind, we still have these front walls here. To add all of the detail and like the front door and stuff, but we could possibly just do that last. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my stone bricks. I want to make sure I'm right on the edge of these quartz stairs that we he have here along the overhang. So I just want to follow along the edge like that with the full blocks of the uh, stone brick. Okay, so we should have five here, then two... Then this is like a little corner piece, so it's three connected together. Then we have five here again. Then we're going to have three here. Then two. And then another five. Okay. Then we could just bring this up an extra two layers, so that is three in total. All right, that's looking good. Then what we want to do is you can switch to your quartz stairs. We're going to go above this overhang that we had. And we're going to add another layer of upside down quartz stairs. Once again, make sure the corners are a slab. Then continue along. So just on top of all of the quartz stairs that we already have. So there's just like two upside down layers of quartz stairs. Okay, so I went all the way around and added upside down court stairs, leaving the corners as a slab. Alright, now I'm going to switch back to my stone bricks. And I want to go from the inside. And we want to make sure we're not on top of this layer of three, but we're going in one. So now we're going to be following along the edge of the brick. Okay, so as you can see, we have five, then one, two, and five. Now we just want to add an extra layer on top of this so that it is two in total. Okay, now let's go up one extra layer 
we're going to do the same thing, except this time, instead of leaving the corners empty, we're actually going to fill in the corners like this. Okay, the reason why we actually filled in the corners, as you can see, is because we're actually going to have some upside down court stairs on top of this, and if we didn't fill in the corners, there would just be like a little empty hole. So we have to fill in the corners. Alright, so there we go. Now, what we could actually do is continue the rest. Like, this is just a half of the shape. What we could do is actually continue it around the back here. Because some of it is going to be shown. Alright. So, we're going to go in from the corner here. Remember, this is just like a corner that's three blocks. So, we're going to do the same on this side. Alright, then we're going to go out again and have two. Okay, so I did something wrong. Oh, hang on. It should be... Okay, that's what I did. So there should be two, like that. And then we have the corner that's three. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. After this five, we have two here. Then we have the corner. And then we have five. Okay, so it, it's just like finishing the second half of the shape, basically. Then we just want to bring this up an extra two layers. So this bottom half is going to be covered up, but the top half isn't. So it just makes it... Doing the entire thing is just going to make it a lot easier to shape it out the way that we need it. Now, this part's easy, we just have to follow along the edge of the stone brick. Alright, make sure that it's two blocks in height. And then the last layer is just going- oh yeah, we have to fill in the corners this time. So starting here, and fill in all of the corners. All right, that's looking good. So it's not like a perfect circle, but for the most part, it looks good. All right, there we go. So now, I'll go ahead and do this part. We can switch to our quartz stairs. And we just wanna make sure these are all upside down and we're gonna wrap it around right on top of the final layer of brick. So just all upside down like this. Okay, now after you go all the way around with your upside down quartz stairs, you can then switch to your stone slab and add a layer right on top of all of these quartz stairs. Okay, so this is going to be filled in with white concrete, but I don't have that in my inventory right now. You know what? Do we need the... Okay, we still do need the sea lanterns. So yeah, we won't worry about that quite just yet. Okay, now let's continue doing the rest of the roof here for the lower level. So you can switch to a stone brick. And we just want to add one layer on top of this quartz that we added down here at the bottom. So just wrap this all the way around. Then we're going to go in a layer. So we're going to be on the inner edge of the brick and we're going to add one more layer. So let me just go all the way around with this layer first. Okay, now like I said, let's just go up and in a layer. So right, we're just uh, right on the edge of the brick now. And this is going to be the last layer with the brick. Is that we're going to add some upside down quartz stairs on top of this with some stone slabs. Okay, there we go. Now let's switch to our quartz stairs. I'll start right here. Make sure they're all upside down. Once again, the corners are going to be filled in with slabs instead of stairs. Okay. 
Okay, I just about got it all wrapped around. So let's then add a layer of stone slabs on top of this. And then really all we have left to do is we just have to fill in this entire opening with white concrete as well as the opening for that round shape. Then we have to do the uh, bell. It's going to be brought up a little bit taller and we have a bell. And then we just have to fill in that front wall right there in the middle. And then we are done with the exterior. So we can then head on to the interior. That'll be for part four. So there should be... Um, I might end up having the interior furnishings and layout for part four. So there might only be four parts for this entire build. If not, there'll then be five. Because I'll separate those into two. But it might be four. Okay, so let me get rid of... Let's see... We really basically still need all of these blocks. I'll get rid of the white stained glass panes right now since we're not doing the wall quite yet. And I'll get to grab it some white concrete. So yeah, let me just add a layer. It should be on the same layer as the quartz stairs. So there should still be a stone slab that's like one block... That's like still higher than the actual white concrete. Okay. Then let's go down here. I'm actually also going to grab a potion of swiftness. I'll just switch out the stone brick for now. And I want to then fill in all of this space right here on the same layer as these quartz stairs. Like I said, this bottom half is going to be covered up. But the top half isn't. So the quartz or the white concrete is going to be right along this edge. So a full block, like two layers, is still going to be shown. So let me go ahead and fill all of this in with white concrete. Okay, so I'm getting this section all filled in, so there we go. Now I'm going to bring up the bell. As you can see over there, that's what it's going to look like. It's just going to be on top of this roof here. And then after we bring that up, we'll fill in these walls. Then we are done with part three. Okay, so let's go ahead and start doing this section here. So let me actually get rid of the potion of... Yeah, the potion of swiftness. Let's grab our stone bricks again. And then we'll leave it at that for now. So let's go ahead and start bringing up the bell. All right, go ahead and switch to your pillar quartz blocks. And what we want to do is place one here. We'll start here at the right. We're going to place one here. Then one here. And then one here. So this is just left with one space. This one is right next to the corner of this like corner here then this one is right on the edge in the middle of this space then let's go up here make sure it's right next to the corner boom then go here leaving one space have it right there then another one here next to the corner then another one right up against this slab and then another one here next to the corner so from up above it looks like is this Okay, now let's add another six on top of this, so it's seven in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's do that for the rest of them. All right, now real quick, so we have it out of the way, let's go right here in the middle. We'll delete this white concrete. And what I like to do is basically cover all of this up i'll go from oh wait let's bring it down another layer and i want to add a block here then the sea lantern and then the iron trap door so the sea lantern is like in the ground and the iron trap door is on the same layer as the white concrete it doesn't pop up like that okay so we'll leave it as it is so real quick, just make sure you added that sea lantern and brought up the pillars so that there's seven blocks in total. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to our quartz stairs. And we're going to wrap these upside down right along the, the uh, top edge of the pillars. And at the original build, I had some slabs in between each corner for this 
section. I really don't know why, but we'll do it on this side as well. So first, it's just going to make it a lot easier to actually wrap around the quartz stairs. So we'll worry about the slabs in the corner later on. But first, let's get this all wrapped around like that. Then let's go from the inside. You can switch to your blocks of quartz and fill all of this space in. All right. Now, now, you know what? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the quartz slabs in the corner. So I have one right here. We actually have to curve this stair so that each side is showing up like that instead of like that. So it should be turned. We're going to have to do the same thing. Oh, wait, it's already did it by itself. So it's going to be looking like this. Now, how about this corner? So right there. Then this corner is all good. Alright, this one we have to fix. Alright. Then we got this. And this one's all good. This one we have to fix. Okay. And uh, this one. Yep, this one we have to fix as well. Alright, how's all of that? Oh wait, we missed one here. Okay, there we go. So I just went all the way around. Switched out each stair with a quartz slab. Okay, now you can switch to your stone brick. We're gonna go just right along the edge of the stairs and slabs, just right along the edge of the quartz. And just add a layer of stone brick, similar to what we did at the lower level. Okay, then let's add an extra two layers on top of this. Okay, so it's three in height. Let's go in right along the edge and we're gonna add this just every other block. So we're not gonna be like filling in the corners. So just right along the edge of all the stone brick. Then what we wanna do is add one more layer on top of this. So it's two in total. All right. Now let's go up another layer, go in. This time we are going to be filling in the corners because this is going to be the final layer where we're gonna have our quartz stairs. Okay, so like I said, let's switch to our quartz stairs. We're gonna have these upside down. And if you wanted to, after we get this done, you could add, by the way, there's not gonna be any uh, quartz slabs in the corners up here but you could have a flagpole up here. That is up to you. I decided not to add one, but you could easily have one if you want to. So I'll show you real quick. Let's add our stone slabs on top of these stairs. Then fill all of this in with white concrete. And you could have like a fence going up right here. So it's like a flagpole. And then you can have a flag up here if you want. Okay. So there we go, we have that all marked out, so it's looking like this. Now let's go up here, we have to add one more sea lantern in the ceiling of this. And instead of it being out on this edge, we have to make sure it's on the same edge as the quartz. So let me go ahead and just add all of this around. Then add the sea lantern. And should it be that high up? Okay, it only needs to be right here. And then is the iron trap door. Okay, so that's looking good. So now that's going to be lit up enough so we could actually see the bell. So, speaking of the bell, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to clear my inventory. And let me get a dark oak fence and some blocks of gold. So we're going to put a fence right up hanging down from the iron trap door and then four blocks of gold and then right around the edge is that just two layers of gold like this right in the middle. Okay, so a very simple design, quick, easy design for a bell. And I believe that is everything up here. So the last thing that we have left to do 
are these walls right behind the pillars. So we'll start down here at the first floor. Okay, so you want to go ahead and get some full blocks of quartz, quartz stairs, white stained glass panes, dark oak fences, quartz slabs, and you could also grab some iron trap doors and sea lanterns. So the first thing we're going to do is switch to our block of quartz. We're going to go here on the right side where the brick is, add a block, and then a block here, leaving one space in the middle. Let's do the same on this side. Then you can have a quartz stair facing up. And then we're going to wrap around all of these quartz stairs on this upper layer, like is that. I'll do that again. All right. Then let's go up another layer, block of quartz, block of quartz, and a stair facing upward, and then wrap around some quartz stairs up here. Okay. That's looking good. Then let's switch or make sure you have your quartz stairs. Oh wait, the door's gonna be one block higher. So let's have another full blocks of quartz here. So one more of this design. Okay, so now we want to make sure we have four blocks in height. So one, two, three, four. So on the fifth block, right where the block of quartz is, you can add some upside down stairs. Okay, then you can switch to your white stained glass panes. We're going to bring this up on each side. We're going to curve out the bottom and the two at the top. Fill in the space in the middle with a dark oak fence. Okay, now up here... We're going to have the same design that we did, so a block of quartz, a uh, quartz stair facing up, then the upside down quartz stairs all wrapping in together. Okay, and then here, we're going to have a full block of quartz and then a stair upside down. Okay, so one thing that I actually did to add a little bit more detail is I, you can switch to your quartz slabs and just fill in all of the space along with the corners right here. So it adds kind of like a crown molding. Okay, so like is that. You don't need to do that if you don't want to, but it is there so that you could do it. Okay, and I believe that is every, oh yeah. One last thing, I wanted to add some sea lanterns like this in the ground. So it adds a little bit of extra light down here. Okay, now I think we are done. Looks like this. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Oh, you can pause the video right now so you can see it all a lot easier. Okay, now let's go up to the second floor and we're going to start doing this area. Instead of a door, since we can't actually access this, it's going to be a window. So now you can switch to your block of quartz. I'm going to go over here at the right side. Make sure it's two blocks, like wide. And then four blocks in height. Alright, let's do the same on this side. Then you could go from the corner and add a full block of quartz. Down here at the bottom, we're going to have quartz stairs facing upward. And you should have a space of five here in the middle. Okay. Next, let's have a stair facing upward. And then a full block of quartz. Then let's add our upside down quartz stairs connecting with each other. Okay. Then full blocks of quartz again. And up here is going to be an upside down stair. And then we're going to have three upside down stairs right here. Whoops. Right. Let's see. Where is it? Should be right here. Oh no, it's going to be connecting together like this. So same design as this right here. And then up here in the middle, we could have more blocks of quartz. Or 
Let's see, what should we do? We could either do this. Whoops, not that. We could either do this. Or we could have another design just like this bottom one. So we could do that instead. I'll leave it like that. Then let's add our white stained glass panes. Okay, and then we are done. So that is the window. All right, so I'll go back. And like I said, that is going to be it for the exterior of the building. You could add a flag up there if you want. That is up to you. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for part three for this tutorial on how to build a town hall. And if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part four. Later. I'm alone, I'm a broken home. I gave you all the bricks that I own and know. I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down. If you want adventure, then fly to home. But if you want to travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us?